Hello, and what is up? Yeah, you, you with the face, how you doing? Uh, welcome back to Prison Architect. Welcome back to Prison Architect episode five, I believe. Um, this is Corn Puff Penitentiary, also known as the clink, the can, the slammer, the big house, the cooler. Uh, you get what I'm saying. So I think last time we left here, yep, Kanye here was very bad, and I, I thought that it was alcohol. I didn't realize that was drugs. I was pretty sure it was a big bottle of liquor, but he's being escorted to solitary, and I think Levers is getting out. And I know that I've had trouble deciding how to pronounce Levers so far, um, but I think I'm going to stick with that. So that is going on there. And I actually sat down and thought about some goals for today. I know, big deal, it's huge. <laughs> um, but what I want to do is I want to obviously assign three, three guards to patrol routes because I do believe that we have patrols unlocked. Um, and then we're also going to build a classroom somewhere around here. Um, I'm not sure where. And uh, I would also like to, let's see, I want to build more cells um, because I think for uh, the grant cell block B, you have to uh, have the capacity for 50 prisoners. And at this point, we are not there. We are so not there. It is not even remotely funny. So, and then another thing that I wanted to do is have our accountant go ahead and research, um, excuse me, go ahead and research how to take a third grant because I accidentally took the education grant, if you remember, <laughs> and it takes eons for one prisoner to pass the general education course. It's not so bad for them to uh, pass the foundation, uh, yeah, the foundation educational course, um, but for some reason, becoming generally educated is a real issue around here. So, there you go. So, let's go ahead and we're going to press play. Uh, let's see, the first thing that I want to do, let's do some patrol routes here. Where should they patrol? I feel like we should go ahead and, for right now, uh, let's, let's have them patrol along the outside of the cell here. Uh, just so that way, in case there is an attempted escape via tunnel. Um, there is someone, so, someone sort of there. Uh, where else? Um, I would say up and down this hall because if you've ever played this game before you know that a lot of nasty stuff happens um, you know near the, the, the most innocent places like the laundry and the common room and the infirmary and places that are supposed to be fun but are most certainly not and then obviously the canteen you know just in case there's a food fight or something um, good so now that we have three guards that are patrolling we just finished that grant we made a cool ten thousand dollars yes please and thank you uh, I do want to hire a couple of cooks um, because okay now they're moving <laughs> um, because now that we have our nifty thrifty uh, staff canteen as well as staff restroom with individual stalls uh, courtesy of yours truly I know they're very thankful and will not be pissed off for much longer oh cool this guy's actually not pissed I am so happy that bothered me from day one I mean I'm, I'm glad they put it in the game I think that's a really cool little, I don't know, little feature there, but I tell you, it took me some time to figure that one out. Let's see, lock up, 10 p.m. Okay, yeah, it's almost bedtime. So, uh, okay, so Hornybrook, a.k.a. Will Smith here, decided to go ahead and just leave his shirt on the floor. Um, you are a gross man. And then we have iced tea here. Howl? Uh, he's just wondering that's fine with me and then we've got bald-headed long hair guy who Desperately needs some fashion advice. Oh my word. So Anyway, oh look at this big dude John Barry 
Lord have mercy. Oh, he just blinked. That was kind of cute. Um, we've got John Barry here. And Ken, Ken Relic, Ken Relic, you need privacy. Well, I mean, I could have put bunk beds in there. I could have made it a dorm and then you really would have wanted privacy, huh? Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to have our, what, what is her name? I mean, she doesn't have a name. Our accountant. Where is she? Ah, where is the accountant? Oh, finance. Derp. Um, let's see. Land expansion? No. Extra grant? Yes. There we go. Alright, so there's that. And then we'll go ahead and take another grant. Not sure. Uh, I am very hesitant to do the prison manufacturing facility because just like the kitchen, prisoners find some really interesting things in uh, in the workshops. Like, so, okay, let out on. We're go we're gonna pause it here for a second. I close the door. I don't know what's happening behind me, but something is in here, and it's bugging the crap out of me. So I'll be right back. Okay, apologize about that. I locked a cat in here, and he was not very happy. <laughs> His name is Leroy Jenkins, for anybody who cares. <laughs> so, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, prisoners find all kinds of crap everywhere. And, I mean, like, the other guy who found a hacksaw in the last episode, or just a handsaw, I don't know exactly what it's called. Like, where? Where did you find that? I don't know. But they find, like, knives and um, poison and forks and all kinds, spoons, and just stuff to dig tunnels in the kitchen. And then if you give them access to, like, a workshop where they can make beds and, and all that good stuff, it does make money. And it does keep them busy, but it also gives them immense access to um, machinery, like power drills. One of the one of the freaking uh, <laughs> prisons that I made, somebody got a hold of a power drill and went on a killing spree in the canteen, and it was horrific. All right, everybody needs to go to bed. This is ridiculous. It's almost twelve thirty. And you know that I can't feed you after midnight, all right? Um, well, okay, so let's see. My other goal here, oh yeah, to build a classroom. And then we're going to build some more cells uh, to work towards that cell block B grant. That'd be good. That'd be excellent. This guy is patrolling. He's doing his job. He is not pissed, which is awesome. That is just fantastic. This shirt is bothering the crap out of me, but it's okay. Ba poor Barry. He barely fits in his cell. Barry barely fits in his cell. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you stuck around this long, I appreciate it. Alright, so where should we put the classroom? Um, I was thinking we should probably put it along this hallway. Uh, probably what do you think? Like, across from the infirmary? Yeah. So, let's do that. Uh, foundation. We'll make this concrete as per everything else. And, hmm. Like, I don't want it to be too small, but I don't want it to be too big either, so. Alright, so we'll stick that there. And, um, just like everything else, we have to have a door. Or else it won't work. <laughs> Uh, you can't just bash a hole in the wall and say, there you go. I don't know why. I feel like that would work for me. Um, uh, I, and we also need to hire a couple more guards, I think, um, because we have so many stationed that they're not able to open these um, large cell doors in time. So, speaking of that, uh, let's, let's put a guard... Let's put a guard right here, uh, so that way he's always there to open the airlock doors. I don't know if that's what they're called, but that's what I'm going to call them. I don't think anybody's come to visit anybody yet. I bet Finley's really, really sad. Um, I don't know. I've kind of grown accustomed to Finley, even though he did. I think he was the one with the saw. 
but I can't be 100% sure. Alright, uh, we probably need to get some power over there. Everything looks pretty good. I'm in the power side of things. So, I'm sure. What's the best way to do this? Well, since the door is there, and I may want to add a metal detector at some point. I know this seems stupid, but I'm just gonna put that across there. Alright. You're gonna. I'm gonna do a lot of things where you're gonna go, what in God's name is she doing? And it's okay. <laughs> I've embraced it. I have embraced the oddness. So, alright, nobody is in solitary, which is nice. Nobody's in the chapel. Oh, I remember what I wanted to do. Okay, I wanted to make this um, so the programs don't overlap quite so badly. The spiritual guidance would be from 5 to 7, um, and they could, let's see, um, and they could pick which one of those they wanted to go to, and we're just going to go with that for right now. Behavioral therapy, um, nobody cares about that, figures, so. Alright, so we'll see how that goes. Who the heck knows? Who? Wait. Oh, they haven't done that yet. Alright, um, alright, so they're bringing, they're bringing electricity down there, which is good, which is good. I am so on the fence about letting them have access to the cleaning cupboard or not. And also intake. Let's get some more guys in here. Uh, we have, let's see. Um, if we filled capacity, we would get six more, so let's just go up to 16. Alright, that's good. That's good. So we'll do that. So we're going to get six more in, in about three hours, which I think is reasonable. Very reasonable indeed. I like, still with the dirty shirt. How? How? How do you sleep with a dirty shirt? And you too, whatever your name. Oh, that's actually Finley. That's my, that's my dude. Brown, what's wrong? Oh my God, I forgot. I have temperature, like, like weather on. So I need to, I need to put in heaters and stuff. So let's see, what, um, let's see, what's the temperature? <gasps> it's like really cold everywhere. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry. Uh, Alright, so objects. Whoops. Objects and we're gonna put a radiator. I wonder how I wonder how much this thing radiates. So we'll put that there. We'll stick another one at the other end here, just for fun. And then I suppose we should put one in the canteen as well. So that way people aren't cold and sad when it's supposed to be happy eating time. And then we'll put one here and hope that it just makes everybody, everybody nice and toasty. Okay, so I think we should be fairly good to go. I, as soon as they get done, could be wrong. Let's see, do we have new prisoners yet? No, because we're waiting on, like, someone to open this gate. Here. We need a guard there. And we need a guard here. So that way things don't get all nasty and backed up. Alright, uh, staff, let's get a couple more guards, just for the hell of it. Oops. Come on. There we go. Alright. Are you gonna? Nope. Nope. Guess not. That's alright. I forgive you. Oh, look! Someone's family! Who are you here to see? Oh, Barry! Is that big old Barry? The guy that barely fits in his cell? That's awesome. Um, hey. I bet they would really like to go in there. Just a hunch. Alright. I bet he would like to go in there, too. He's always cold. Dude, I am trying. Okay? Nobody's perfect. Nobody's per- A drill. A power drill. Who the heck 
decides, you know what, I'm going to prison, I'm gonna take my drill with me. Oh, I have to have regular water to these two, that does make perfect sense. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh! Alright, so let's have regular pipe to there, and that has water. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, we're they still haven't they still haven't done that quite yet. So we got free time. Perfect. Look at that. Long haired bald guy is playing pool by himself. I love it. See? Look, that's almost him, but not nearly as bald. Actually, you know, that doesn't look anything like <laughs> like him. Ah. Alright, what are you yelling about? Literacy, I told you. So, yeah, you go in there, you really shouldn't have bought a power drill into the prison. God, you and your fluffy head. Alright, so, okay, I totally forgot about this, this uh, radiator down here. I don't want to build another one. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm gonna put it in some- I'm gonna put the water boiler in someone's office, I think. It's gonna be a little warm in there for them, but they'll be fine. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Alright, so, and then we need a regular pipe that goes all the way down here just to get regular old water there. And then we need a hot water pipe to go from here and then to there. And I think that should do it. Think, think is the key word there. I didn't even put any lights in here for them. I hope that they're dark and miserable and they just hate themselves for bringing crap in to my perfectly happy prison, see? I mean, even Kanye, even Shades is having a good time. You know, Stone Cold Stone Lake is talking to his family. Levers is playing pool. Big old Barry is also playing pool. Everybody just seems really happy. Why did you have to go and ruin it for yourself? All right, don't blame me. Once again, none of this is my fault. Mm -mm. Now, getting distracted and not making things uh, for you guys. Yeah, that's my fault. I'm sorry. So, err. <laughs> Rooms. Oh, that always scares me for some reason. Did I even unlock education? I bet I didn't. Nope. Nope. And it's going to take a full 12 hours to do it. Well, that may not get done, but that's okay. Hey, look, another picture. Oh, <laughs> it's so funny. You got greens because those are hilarious. What in the world? What? Literacy. I know. I know. I'm kind of a moron and forgot to unlock it. I didn't do that until after I built the classroom. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, you know what though? Did I miss intake? Yep, I did. Crap! Bacon! Just sitting outside. That's fantastic. Okay, we got a cook that's tired. All of our cooks are tired. So why don't we help them take a load off and we'll hire a couple more. Why not? We're already like almost two grand down the hole pretty much every day. So what's a little more gonna do? What's it gonna hurt? All right, what are we doing now? Where are we? Okay, uh, we need drugs. So there we go. Ew, did somebody just throw up on the on the radiator? That's not nice. All right, spiritual guidance. He is preparing for that. And I believe that this is the AA meeting. Okay, spirituality, don't worry lovers, you'll be able to get that later. And then everybody else apparently doesn't need crap because they're just meandering about their little cells that are disgusting. It looks like they've peed on the floor. Hey, Barry's cleaning! Good job. Go you. That's fantastic. And so is... 
Conrelic. <laughs> I'm sorry if like these are super obvious, but I'm just not getting it. Okay, so I think these guys are here to work. Um, whoa, that got loud. Here to work in the laundry here. Uh, that was spinning a second ago. Oh, that is so cool. Are you gonna iron that now? Nice. That is an odd way to use an iron, but you know, I can relate because I iron the same way. You just sort of fling it around and you know, pray for the best, and then you get this nice little Tetris shaped uh, situation of clothes there. So that way, when you go to put it in your drawer, your dresser drawer, it's super awkward. Um, but you know, that's just how I do it. It's how me and Hornybrook do it, it's just how it goes. So Alright, uh, we're patrolling here, he's working. Ah, uh, jeez. I wonder how many prisoners now have poison. I... Ay, ay, ay. Um, we're, I'm gonna go ahead... We have pills. Whoops. Kanye! For God's sake! What? Like, how, how many... I'm gonna... God. How many times? How many times? Have you been in trouble? Okay, Jake. Jake, kill so now he's got three names. He's Kanye, he's Shades, and he's Jake. Um, and Kanyak, but I don't call him that, that's dumb. Jake killed his teacher for giving him an A- minus on a math exam. Sentenced to 12 years for robbery. He's got a girlfriend, two sons, and a father. Um... Maybe I don't want to set up a classroom. I don't know. That seems a little extreme. It, I, you know, I tend to underreact in most cases. Uh, don't get me wrong. I've been known to overreact as well. But I, even I, even, even I think that that's a, that's a little much. Um, they're having a hard time figuring out where to put this stuff. So let's, uh, let's get some more refrigerators here. I think. I think that would be a good call. A pretty darn good call on our part. Alright. Oh, that looks actually really good. What is that? Um, food waste. Like what? It's like processed cheese? Or what? Are those potatoes? Okay, sorry. I get way too invested. Um, let's see. We're going to need, uh... Okay, for God's sake, someone open the door! I don't know what else to do. I don't know how many more guards I have to hire. We have a ton of them. We have 14. Um, let's see. Literacy, spiritual. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. Alright. Okay, yeah, you don't get to eat, Kanye. You don't get to eat. Because you ruined it for everybody. Well, really, you just ruined it for you. But we're going to say you ruined it for everybody. Because because they miss you over here. I can tell. Brown, look how sad he is. Eating by himself. Actually, he looks quite happy. But he's actually really sad. He's one of those people that, you know, he, he looks happy on the outside. But he's dying on the inside. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, so... Alright, so I think... Let's see. Uh, let's take another grant. Let's take, um... Mmm. Ooh, dog patrols. That could be fun. Assign two dog handlers to a dog patrol. But I have to unlock that. So, let's go ahead and take cell block B. Uh, we got 10,000 in advance, which is nice, and I think that we can take another one now, um, since we had our accountant unlock the third grant thing. I mean, she may look grumpy, she may look like she has no personality, but she gets it done. It's nice. I like her. She's cool. I'm gonna call her Anne. Okay. Yeah, some little girls like to play with dolls. I like to build prisons. It's fun. Alright, so... Doctor? Like, house? Yeah? What are you here for? Vandalism? Um... 
Right. The Doctor was the primary alias of a renegade Time Lord from Gallifrey who traveled through... No. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh, who traveled through time and space with various companions in his obsolete and borrowed Type 40 TARDIS. He was the universe's greatest defender, having saved the cosmos. Why in God's name is the doctor in my prison? Get him out! Excuse me, sir! Patrolling man! Let him out! He doesn't deserve to be in here. He was super cool. I didn't watch, you know, much of his stuff. But hey, he he's the defender of our universe, and you're just over there patrolling. That's, that is infuriating. Uh oh. What do you have? What do you have, Hugo? Hmm. Hmm. It's taking forever to search this guy. Nothing. Okay, so I'm sorry. I just made you guys sit there for absolutely nothing. Hey, are they down there? Um, yeah, but where. Where. I thought we were supposed to have a. A, um. A class. A spirituality class going on. So... That's weird. Programs. What? Why did you go away? I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I deleted it. I don't know. Um, okay. We all... Well, crap. Shoot. I got a little bit done <laughs> what I wanted to do today. Not, not nearly as much, but at least I have a general idea of where we're going, which direction we're going. Uh, so, yeah. So, the reason... I'm gonna go ahead and put this here, just for fun. Um, the reason that I played this game today was because I put a poll up on my Twitter account. Um, you can always follow, follow me on... Whoops. You can always follow me on Twitter. It is at Cornpuff Gaming. And I don't just put, you know, or only put pictures of, the, of my thumbnail of the video and a link uh, to the video and stuff. There's polls, there's like absolute random randomness. Um, I don't know, it's it's just, to me it's more of a social thing, uh, not just, not just kind of cold and putting links out there. So, you know, if you, if you like polls, if you like participating, um, you can, you know, definitely follow me there. Uh, I was very surprised to, uh, with the latest poll, uh, how close this came um, to Doom 3, because the whole thing was, what do you want to see me play? And, um, you know, there were, there were other choices too, obviously, but, you know, the top two, this was the top one, and then the second one was Doom 3. And it kind of made me laugh, because it just shows what a, uh, you know, what a diverse audience I have. And I think that's really neat. And, you know, I think it also shows that I don't really have a preferred, you know, style of game. I'm not just for first-person shooters. I'm not just, uh, you know, simulation games. I like all kinds of stuff. Um, I started playing Rust a little bit. Don't know if I like that one yet. We're going to work on that before I make that an option uh, to put online. So, anyway. Well, alright. Well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and definitely wrap this up. Gosh, what a mess. Ugh, poor doctor. Mm, hope he gets out soon. Go ahead and wrap this up. And um, I think I'm just going to continue recording. So, you know, I should... I may even put up two today. I don't know. Who knows? I'm so spontaneous, it's scary. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, well, uh, all right. Well, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of the day or evening or night or morning or whatever it is for you. And as always, keep going, keep laughing, and I will see you next time. Ooh. That sounded really odd on the way out. Mm -mm. Uh, I don't want to do it again. They'll be okay. Everybody will live. Except for maybe Barry. I have a feeling he's going to be the first one to go. Sorry, Barry. <laughs> <laughs>